Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Wednesday, and the date is the 17th of March, 2021. We are learning about engineers and the design process. Who are engineers? What do they do? Who can tell me? Raise your hand, please. Hi, Ismail, who are engineers? Uh, they do design, design process. They use the design process to do what? To do things. Art? And work? they build a house and they do things. Uh, like okay. a car, like Very a good. Phone. Nice, Hattan. Cool stuff. Okay, that's correct. They do cool stuff, yeah, Hattan. But can you tell me what do they do? Hi, Hattan. They use um, what? They use art and uh, they, Arabic? They use, what do no, they, they study? Use, they use other people's um, um, observations and wow that's and good to, to, to make yes. even better stuff and cool wow stuff. yes wow i'm impressed that's very correct that's a very nice that's really yes that's really cool a ton what do they study do you know what do they study engineers they study mm -hmm. science Science only or something else with science? Science and technology. They need numbers. How do they study numbers? By counting. Okay, so do they study uh, art and science, Arabic and science? Which subject do they uh, study? All the, and they study Something has numbers, a lot of numbers. Mm. It's, a, it's a right, Hattan. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, Khalid, what do they study? A science and math. Excellent, yeah, Khalid. They study math and science to solve problems and as our friend told us, to make things even better. So whenever they uh, see stuff around them, they think, how can I make it better? Let's find a problem and solve it. So they need to study math and science. Why math? Because in every invention or working, they need to... Uh, measure. How can they measure if they don't know math? So they learn math, they learn numbers, so they can measure stuff and they use science tools and they need science for facts to link them together and give you the best result. All right, boys. Yesterday we said we have so many examples about engineers who uses the design process. The design process is the steps that they follow to make things better, to solve problems, to help people. Okay, what are the examples? What do they do, engineers? Hi, Ahmed. Choose one of these. What? Engineers, what do they do? How do they solve problems? Give me examples. In front of you, you have five examples. Give me one. What? Draw. They draw? Draw what? Can you sit properly, please? Thank you, Ahmed. Okay, they draw. They draw what? Excellent. This is the first step. Yes, they draw. The thing that they want to build. Excellent. Well done, Ya Ahmed. So they draw the thing that they want to build. So one of the examples, engineers, they uh, help builders to plan the building. So they draw the building and they tell them how to do it exactly. 
Okay, they use the design process to plan buildings. What else, Ya Ismail? Engineers use the design process to do what else? You have four more in front of you. Choose one and tell me about it. Because they do, they, they do um, like a car and the cool stuff. Excellent. And What's inside a car? What do they do? They use the design process to do what inside the car? What do we call it? Yesterday, Khalid said it in Arabic, and I teach him what does it mean in English, remember? Yes, but I forgot what, what's the mean. It's all right. Thank you. As long as you know that this thing inside the, uh, oh, the car. The... Sorry, again, Ismail. The name of the engine? Excellent. It's an engine. Bravo. So engineers use the design process to make engines. Excellent. Well done. What else do they do? Yes, yeah, Abdul Ilah. Let's see, Abdul Ilah. I can see Abdul Ilah. Yes, yeah, Abdul Ilah. The Bashir. Huh? The Bashir. Sorry. What do they do? Like yesterday, Khalid said it. Ah, oh, okay. No, Khalid said engine in Arabic. Okay, so engineers they use the design process to make engines for cars, for airplanes, for trains, or whatever machine needs an engine. What about over here? Uh, scientists, what are they making over here? Or engineers, they are using the design process so they can help you to call your family uh, across the country or your friends across the country. So what do you use to call them, Ya Abdul Ilah? Um, it's the condom. How can you call your friends? How can you communicate with your friends? I call them. Okay, how do you call them? What do you use? Do you use a paper? No. A TV? No. What do you use then? Uh, a phone. Exactly. So engineers, they use the design process to make phones or cell phones. Excellent. What else? Remember what uh, Sef told us about digging holes inside Earth? Hmm. Yes, Yusuf, say it again, please. Engineers use the design process to do? To do so, to like um, buildings. Okay. What about this one? The first one? Huh. Well, to build some robots? What okay, that is? Well done. Yes, that's correct. To build some robots. What about digging holes in Earth? Why would they dig holes? Why? For what? Then they can mine some gems Excellent. and stones. Well done. Well done. Miss, yes. what, Miss what is in that background? I, I am, is that like a missing shooting? Uh, I don't know. No, it's just a white background. There's nothing in, in it. Thank you, Zef. So yes, engineers use the design process to uh, uh, invent machines or to help people who are mining to find gems, maybe stones, maybe oil. So yes, engineers, they help people, they solve problem, and they make our life easier. Now let's see, what is the design process? What do I mean by a design process? Many kinds of jobs involve the work of an engineer. Let's look at four common kinds of work done by an engineer. Click the first picture to get started. All right, so before the design process, we're going to learn the type of engineers. So if, you, if, if, if someone studies engineer, they can be what or what or what. Let's see, four jobs related to engineers. Let's start with the first one. An engineer works on machines made for space. 
Some engineers are even able to work on the International Space Station. So, in this picture, an engineer. He's working on what? He's working on what? Who can tell me? Please. Hi, Hatan. He's working on what? A space station. Excellent, on a space vehicle. Okay, so engineers can uh, fix a, a space vehicle or even a rocket or a, an airplane. So they can work in international space uh, stations or whatever they like. They can fix uh, machines or they can improve their machines. They can invent new rockets. They can prevent more um, experiment, better experiment. All right, let's see the second one, what he's doing or she. An engineer designs and tests electronic machines. He or she designs MP3 players, television. So cool. What can she or he invent or design? They, an, an, an engineer can design or build and test what? Technology. Anything that is related to technician, they can do an MP3 player, they can do a computer, they can do a laptop, TVs, anything that related to, to technology or technician, they will design it, build it, and then test it. They will make sure if it works very good or not. Now, every year or two years, we see a new iPhone appears. Who make these iPhones? Who make them? Can you tell me? Who make these iPhones? Doctors? Vets? Huh, who? Who, who make them then? Can you tell me, Abdurrahman? Who make new iPhones? Who make them better? Try to fix the problem with the old one and improve the new one. Hi, Abdurrahman. Are they clowns? Hi, Khalid. Who do that? This. Miss, you, miss, you opened my mic. Yes, you did not listen to me, Abdurrahman. Please listen to me again. Yes, ya yeah, Khalid. Khalid, who make phones, improve phones, and uh, find the problems and solve them? In phones. Okay. Engineers, excellent. Engineers, well done. Let's see what else engineers can do. An engineer designs the programs that make computers work. So even the programs that let computers work, who designed them? Engineers. Many kinds of jobs. In Do and you know like what? Give me a computer program. Give me a computer program. What computer program do you know? Hmm. I bet you play a lot with computers, so you must know programs. Yes, yeah, Khalid. I don't. Hmm? Computer. Okay. Apple computer. Apple computers have its own program. That's correct. Thank you. Yes, yeah. Let's see. I can see Amir raising the hand. Yes, yeah, Amir. Microscope. Excellent. Microsoft. Microsoft. Well done. Microsoft is a program, yes. What about video games, guys? Video games needs engineers to design these programs. It needs to design uh, finding problems, solving them, and then uh, test these uh, programs, make sure that they work enough or they work good enough. So programs are designed by engineers. Any program is designed by engineers, even video games. All right, let's see what else engineers do. An engineer designs and plans buildings, bridges, or roads. Nice. So engineers, they design buildings. They design uh, uh, bridges and railways. Okay. Have you ever looked uh, 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 while you are walking in the streets? Wow, this building looks beautiful. 
Have you ever seen a beautiful building? If you've seen a beautiful building, can you, do you know the name of it, Abdul Ila? Give me a name of a beautiful building that you know about. Um, uh, I don't know. What about tall buildings? Have you ever traveled around the world? Have you yeah. ever, okay, did you went to, to Dubai? Yeah. They have no, no. A, you I did don't... not? All right. It's okay. They have a very tall building. Do you know the name of it? Very, very huge. What do they call it? I know, but I don't know the name. It's all right. It's all right. Maybe you know the, uh, uh, the shape of it, but you don't know the name. Who knows the name of it? Let me see who's raising the hand. I can see Yassi Abdul Aziz. Hi, Abdul Aziz. What is the name of the tall building in Dubai? No, Miss, I, I want to say, I see Benedict. Okay. But Even it's, here yeah, in Saudi I, Arabia and Riyadh, we have tall buildings are very, very nice and beautiful. I need the name of it. Let's see. Yes, yeah. Um, Abdul Rahman. Yes, yeah, Abdul Rahman. Dubai Mall. All right. Dubai Mall is a building and it is a wonderful building. Nice. What about two? I, I go to Dubai and I sleep there and I go to the mall. Excellent, Abdul Rahman. Do you know who designed this building? Who planned to build this building? Who did this? No. Engineers. Engineers. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Do you know the name of the tower? Uh, Khalifa Tower. Excellent, Khalifa Tower. Do you remember Khalifa Tower now? It's very tall and beautiful. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. I saw it when I went to the Dubai. Yes, who, 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 who designed this tower? Engineers. Engineers, excellent. What about Al Mamlaka Tower? Have you ever been to Riyadh? Have you ever been to Riyadh? Have you ever seen Al Mamlaka Tower? Do you know Al Mamlaka Tower? Yes, yeah, Amir. Al Faisalia Tower. Excellent, Al Faisalia Tower. All these buildings are very beautiful building. Engineers designed them. Engineers plan to build them. Those engineers help to uh, make builders do them. Engineers are involved in many fields. They build things, make computers work, and design new cars, boats, and trains. Which image shows an engineer using math and science as part of the design process? Click all that apply. So, we know that engineers uh, uh, plan or they use the design process to plan building something, uh, make computer works, they design computer programs, they design how car can move or an airplane can move. Choose the pictures that are related to engineers that they are using math and science as part of their design process. Now let's take a look at the first one, an airplane. Does an engineer need math and science to design an airplane, Ya Abdul Aziz? Do you think that engineers need math and science to design the airplane or not? Yes, he needs math and science. Great job. Great an engineer job. uses math and science while working on an aircraft model. Well done. Let's see Ismail. Ismail, what about a technician, engineer? Do they need math and science to do to make uh, computer works? What? Engineers, do they need math and science 
as part of the design process to make computer works? Yes, let's see. You've got it. An engineer uses math and science while solving problems with a computer. Excellent, yes, Ismail. Now let's see, someone did not answer with me. Where is Saud? Hi, Saud. Would you like to answer with me, Saud? Yes. All right, Saud. What about uh, architect? Architects, people, do they need math and science to plan how to build a building? Yes. Well done. An engineer reads blueprints as part of the design process. She will solve problems in order to help people. Thank you very much, Yasserud. You are awesome. Okay, what about the last picture? Let's see, Talal. Hi, Talal. Hello. How are you, Talal? What, Miss? How are you, Talal? I'm fine. Okay, Talal, look at architect over here. Do they need math and science to help uh, uh, builders to build the bridge maybe or the tower or not? Not. They do not need math and science? Yes. Yes, they are, because they are engineers. That's it. An engineer uses the design process to build a skyscraper. Good job. All of the answers are correct. An engineer uses math and science along with the design process to solve problems and help people. So, now we learned that engineers learn or need math and science to use the design process. Why? To help people or to solve problems. Of course, if they are making a building, they will help people. If they are making a computer program, they are helping a people. And if you have a problem with this program, they can solve your problem. Also, if you are having a problem with your engine, engineers can solve this problem with math and science so they can follow the design process. Well done, everyone. The design process is a set of steps used to plan and solve a problem. The design process includes five steps. Finding the problem, planning and building, testing and improving the design, redesigning, and communicating the results. Meet Riley. He's just solved a problem using the design process. Click dots on the timeline to find out about each of the steps he followed. So... Today we are only going to, uh, I'm going to introduce for you the design process. It is a very simple five steps. You need to follow five steps. They are very simple, okay? I just need you to focus here with Riley, our friend Riley, and let's see what he's doing. Number one, he tries to find the problem. Now let's see, Riley, how he can find the problem. The first step is to find the problem. Riley has a lot of leaves to rake. He is by himself, so when he goes to put them in a bag, the bag will not stay open for him. He wants to find a way to hold open the trash bag and have it stand up so he can easily rake leaves into the bag. That is his problem. So what is Riley's problem? Hmm. What is Riley's problem? Hmm. Number one in the design process, you need to find the problem. What is Riley's problem? Hi, Abdurrahman. What? What is Riley's problem over here? The first step we said in the design process for engineers is to find the problem. Have you heard Riley? No. Yeah. Okay, listen to Riley again, all right? I'm going to ask you again, Ya Abdurrahman. The first step is to find the problem. Riley has a lot of leaves to rake. 
He is by himself, so when he goes to put them in a bag, the bag will not stay open for him. He wants to find a way to hold open the trash bag and have it stand up, so he can easily rake leaves into the bag. That is his problem. So, what is his problem, Ya Abdurrahman? His problem mm -hmm. is his holding a red. Yes. Yes, yes. This red net, it cannot be uh, open for a long time while he is trying to collect the dead leaves. Is that right? Yeah. Now, okay, now he's thinking what should he do to keep his net open and he can collect all of the leaves. So Riley have a problem. Do you think he needs to go through the design process to solve his problem? Yes. Yes, of course. So after finding a problem, let's see what should you do. The second step in the design process, you need to make a plan, a plan of your solution. Plan and build your solution or your design. Your design can be the solution for your problem. So let's think about the solution. Let's design it and let's make a plan about it. I think this is too easy. The second step in the design process is to plan and build. Riley knows that the bag does not stay open to allow him to rake in the leaves. He asks his father to help him build a square frame of wood to hold the bag open. Riley will put the bag around the frame to rake in the leaves. Well done. So Riley now, he asked his dad for help. Why? So he was thinking what, what he can do to keep the bag open. He said, I can put a square wooden shape on top of the bag. It will keep the bag open. So do you think it's a very good idea? Is it a solution or not? Hi, Asif. Is it a solution for his problem? Yes. Exactly. So first he find the problem. What after he find the problem? What did he do? Hi, Asif. What? When he found his problem, what did he do? He um, planned plan, and, plan and built his design. Excellent. So number one is to find a problem. Number two is to plan and build your solution. Okay, boys. I think this is enough for today. Okay? Only for today. You need to know the two steps of the design process, which is number one, you will find a problem. After you find your problem, you will think of your solution. When you know your solution, you will plan and build your design. Make sure that a solution means a design. So whenever you are thinking about a solution, it is your design. All right, boys, before we leave, do you have any question? Do you have any question? All right, well done. So see you inshallah tomorrow. Have a great break and a great day. Bye-bye everyone.